Hi everyone, Eid Mubarak. Eid was completely in a lockdown time. We had no plans for any major celebrations as the situation is not very favorable. Praying every day for everything to be back to normal. On the last day of Ramadan, as usual, we jointly prepared food and completed our iftar. Our parents, mine and my in-laws are not very far, just few kilometers away from where we stay. They had insisted on coming home to have food together. So, we went home late night around at 10. I wanted to prepare some sweet and take home. But due to lack of time and quick decision on going to parents' home, I couldn't complete. It's a very simple sweet we make for evenings and a healthy one too. It's a laddu kind of sweet prepared with roasted rice, jaggery and coconut. You will have to wash the rice. The authentic rice taken is matta rice, that's a red rice. But since I had only puni rice, I used that. Wash it well and drain the water completely. Then roast patiently till it turns to a golden brown color and you start hearing a crackling sound. Do not burn it. Then you will have to let that cool down. Since I didn't get time to finish, I packed everything and carried it to my in-laws so that I could prepare from there. Meanwhile, call from my family to wish Eid Mubarak. My brother-in-laws and family were also at home. Normally, we prepare almost 3 fourths of the biryani on the previous night and then put it on dam the next day. But this time, as we didn't have to go mosque for prayer, we started biryani preparation in the morning. We did all the cooking the next morning. It was chicken biryani and fish for my father-in-law, as he eats only eggs or fish as non-veg. Thanks to the food processor we have at home, which saves a lot of time when preparing food in large quantity. While the onion was sorting, I just moved to complete the rice laddu. You have an option to add the coarsely grind or to a fine powder. I like to have that bits of rice in the laddu. Then just pulse grated coconut and powdered jaggery a few times. Add this to the rice powder and mix well. This would get wet and you can roll to laddus but in case you don't get the right consistency and the jaggery is already sweet enough that you don't want to add more jaggery, you may add very little warm water to roll the laddus. The rest of the biryani preparation was on the go. Kheer was prepared outside the kitchen where we have a traditional oven built 
The one we have inside we had used long time back. Now it's no more used. Hence build a separate one outside. While washing the rice from outside, it started drizzling. The weather here is no more summer and it is a good climate. After putting the biryani on them, we got fresh, got out to take some photos. I had already put some pics on my Instagram as well. And now food time. After the delicious biryani and kheer took a deep nap as we had woken up quite early. Then for dinner my mom had asked us to come home so we went straight to my parents house which is again few kilometers away. Every Eid we gather at my uncle's home, that's my mom's brother's home, with my mom's sisters and family joining. It's a fun place and we sit late night chit chatting. But this time we had those chit chats over a group video call. Mom had prepared Hyderabadi biryani with chicken fry. It was Arman's birthday the next day, so surprisingly my parents had bought a cake for him on this day as we were leaving back home the same night. He was really happy and excited to see the cake with name written on it. He was never excited for his birthdays, but this year he wanted something from us. Unfortunately, due to the lockdown and the pandemic, we were not able to get for him what he wanted. Mom had also prepared biscuit pudding which I had given the recipe in one of my videos. We'll share the link for this pudding in the description box. And that was our Eid. Not very much or not at all like how it used to be when we are in Kerala. This video was not like how I planned and that what happens these days. Everything was quick and just few glimpses I could take. Hope you all enjoyed today's short Eid vlog. See you with another video. Until then, stay safe, take care and bye-bye.